hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the post review rest api call with the review dto in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create a page to give the review in our angular application and then we will create the entity of wishlist in our spring boot application so let's get started so in our angular application we already created the review ordered product component in our previous application so we will open the ts file and here let's create the constructor for this class and in this constructor first of all we need to inject the form builder to build the reactive form and then we need to inject the mat snack bar to show the messages and after this we will inject our customer service to call the apis and then we need to inject the router to navigate the user and at the end we need to inject activated route to get the param value from the url now let's import all these by clicking on this quick fix and then add all missing imports and after this we need to create a variable to store the param value from the url and we will name this variable as product id and the type of this variable will be number and we will use our activated route dot snapshot dot params and then we need to mention the param name which is product id after this we need to create the review form and then we need two more variables to store the selected image and image preview now let's import this form group and after this we will write the ng on in it and in this method we will mention the controls for our review form and we will use our form group dot group method and the first control we want is the rating and for by default value i will set it as null and then we need to mention the validators and i will mention validator dot required after this we need to mention the control for the description so let's duplicate this and we just need to update the name to description after this we need to create a method which we will call whenever user will select a new image and we can name this method as on file selected and in the params we will mention event of type any and in this method we will update our selected file variable and we will set the selected image and to do that we will use this dot selected file is equals to and we need to use the event from the param dot target dot files and we need to get the file which is on zero index and after this we need to show the preview of this image so we will call another method which is preview image now let's create this preview image method and in this method we will create a constant variable of reader and we will use new file reader and after this we will use this reader and we will call on load method and then we will write arrow function and here we need to update our image preview variable and we will set reader dot result in it and at the end of this method we will call reader dot read as data url method and we will pass our selected file the last method we need for this file is submit form method and in this method we will create the request body and we will call our review api and before writing the implementation for this method let's open our customer service and here we need to create the api call so we can copy our existing get ordered products method and we can paste it here and we need to rename the method to give review and in the params we will mention review dto of type any and the type of the api call is the post and the url of this api is api slash customer slash review and then we will remove this path variable from here and we will pass the request body as review dto our give review api is ready now let's save this file and let's go back to our component 
and here we can call our api but before that we will create a form data and in this form data we need to append all the review information so we will use form data dot append method and first of all we will set the image and we will pass here this dot selected file and after this we need to set the product id which we are getting from the url after the product id we will set the user id and we can call user storage dot get user id method now let's import this after the user id we need to set the rating which we can get from our review form dot get method and here we will mention the control name which is rating and the last field we want to set is the description and we will get it from the review form and after this we will call our customer service dot give review method and in the param we will pass form data and then we will subscribe the response and after getting the response we need to write one if condition and in this if condition we will check rest dot id is not equal to null and if this is true then we will show a message to the user review posted successfully and after this we will redirect the user to my orders page and then we will write the else case and in this case we will show a message that something went wrong our ts file code is completed now let's save this file and let's open our html file and here we will write the form tag and for the form group we will pass our review form and after this we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of file upload container and in this container we will write the input code and on the change event we are calling our own file selected method and after this we will write a div and in this div we will write an image tag and we will show our image preview and we will only show this div if we have something in the selected file our file upload container is completed now we will write the tag for the mat form field and we are using mat select to show the options of the rating and then we have mat error tag to show the errors for validations after this we will write the tag for the mat form field of description and in the form control name we will pass the description and at the end we will write a button tag and on the click of this button we are calling submit form method our html file is completed now let's save this file and let's open our css file and i will paste the css code here you can pause the video and you can copy the css code or you can write your own code now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors but before going to the project and validating the review order page let's go to our backend application and in our backend application we need to fix a bug and in our give review api for the response we need to return review dto1 instead of review dto now let's rerun our backend application And as you can see, our application is up on port 8080 without any errors. Now let's go to the browser. After adding the login details, we can click on this login button. And then we need to click on this orders button. And now we will click on this review button. And we need to give review for this product. So we will click on this give review button. And on this page, we can see our give review form. Now let's click on this select a file button and we will select any random image from here and you can see the preview of the image. Now let's select the rating and let's write the description as product was not good. And after this, let's click on this submit button and you can see we got the message that review posted successfully. And in my SQL workbench, now let's open our review table. And you can see we got the one record with the same description that we added. 
now let's go to our backend application and let's create the wishlist entity and to create the wishlist entity we can right click on our entity package and we will create a new java class and we will name this as wishlist and after this we need to annotate this class with at the rate data annotation and then we will give the annotation of entity and after this we will mention the id property for this class and the type of this will be long and then on this we will give the annotation of at the rate id and then we will give the annotation for generated value and for the strategy we will pass generation type dot identity and after this we need to create the relation of our wishlist entity with the product so we will write here private product and we will name this as product and then we need to give the relationship annotation that should be many to one and for the fetch we will set it as fetch type dot lazy and then for the optional we will set it as false and after this we need to give annotation for the join column and for the name we will set it as product underscore id and for nullable we will set it as false and then we need to give annotation for on delete and for the action we will set it as on deletion action dot cascade and after the product we need to create the relation with the user so we will copy this and we will paste it here and instead of the product we will mention user and we will name this as user and in the join column for the name we will set it as user underscore id our wishlist entity is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and we got the log for the table creation of wishlist and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the api for the product details page